Okay, so in this tutorial brought to you by tutorials101.blogspot.com, I'm going to show you how to resize a batch of images using the Max Automator application. Instead of resizing the images one by one, you can do it all in one go using Automator and save yourselves a lot of time. Let's begin. So I have a folder here on the desktop and it's got a couple of images inside it. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to click on this first image and you'll see here in the information area that the image is 3456 by 2592 pixels in size. The rest of the images have the same size as well. And I'd like to shrink them down to maybe about one fourth of the original size. So the first thing I need to do is select all the images. I already have the first one selected. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and click on this last image. And as you can see, the entire range of files have been selected. Now, I'm going to right click on this group selection and from the context menu that pops up, I'm going to choose more, then automator, and then create workflow. This brings up the automator application. And here in the main window, you'll see a list of all the images that we just selected. So now I'm just going to add the scale images task, which will allow me to change the size of the images. So you want to go here in the leftmost column and choose photos. Once it's selected, you go to the middle column and scroll down until you find scale images and then double click on it in order to add the task to the workflow. Now, you're going to get a pop-up message after you do this. This message that you see here is just asking if you'd like to make duplicate copies of the images before they get resized. So that way, you get to keep the original files. So if you want to do that, then click on Add. For me, I'm just going to click on Don't Add. I don't need to keep the original files since this is just an example anyway. So now you'll see the scale image task added to the workflow. You have two options here. You can either input a new size in pixels or specify a percentage value. If you choose the two size option, then you just type in the new width value that you like the images to have. There's no input field for the height. The new height will just be scaled in proportion to the width value that you put in. If you choose the percentage option, then you'll simply input the new percentage value here in the input field. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 25, which is going to scale the images down to 25% of the original size. And then lastly, I'm going to go up here and now click on the Run button in order to execute the workflow. This might take a while depending on how many images you have, but I only have a few images so this won't take too long. And it's done. So now let's go back to the folder that contains the images and let's check to see what the new size is. A while ago it was 3456 by 2592 and now it's just 864 by 648 pixels. If we go down and check the other images, you'll see that they all have the same new size as well.